In our modern world, the sky is not just a space for travel and communication, but also a potential avenue for devastating attacks. Nations develop and build advanced missile defense systems for one primary reason, survival. These systems act as a crucial shield, designed to protect a country's most valuable assets from incoming ballistic missiles. These threats can range from shorter-range weapons launched from nearby adversaries to intercontinental ballistic missiles that can cross oceans in minutes. The goal is to create a protective bubble over critical military sites, major cities and national leadership, ensuring that a nation can withstand a first strike and maintain its ability to function and retaliate. Without such defenses, a country remains dangerously vulnerable to coercion or destruction. The concept behind these defensive shields is layered protection. No single system can stop every possible threat, so countries build multiple layers of defense that work together. Some systems are designed to intercept missiles shortly after they are launched, while others target them as they coast through the vacuum of space. The final layer attempts to destroy any remaining warheads as they re-enter the atmosphere on their final approach. This multi-layered approach increases the probability of a successful interception. Systems like the Chinese HQ-19 and the Russian S-500 represent the upper echelon of this defensive strategy, tasked with hitting the fastest and highest flying threats before they can reach their targets on the ground. The development of these systems is also a powerful statement of technological and military prowess. By creating a credible defense against another nation's most powerful weapons, a country can alter the strategic balance of power. It reduces the effectiveness of an opponent's offensive arsenal, giving its own leaders more options and greater security during a crisis. This technological race is relentless, as offensive missiles become faster, more maneuverable, and harder to detect. Consequently, defensive systems must constantly evolve, pushing the boundaries of radar technology, interceptor speed, and guidance systems just to keep pace with the ever-advancing threats they are designed to defeat. Ultimately, the drive to build systems like the HQ-19 and S-500 is rooted in the fundamental need for national security. They are incredibly complex and expensive investments requiring decades of research and billions of dollars to develop and deploy. However, for nations like China and Russia, which see themselves in direct strategic competition with other global powers, the cost is deemed necessary. These systems are not just weapons, they are instruments of national policy, symbols of technological independence, and the ultimate insurance policy against the most catastrophic form of modern warfare. They are the high-tech sentinels of the 21st century. China's HQ-19 is a highly advanced mobile missile defense system that represents a significant leap forward in the country's defensive capabilities. Its main job is to intercept medium-range and intermediate-range ballistic missiles, which are weapons that can travel up to 3,000 kilometers. The HQ-19 is specifically designed to engage these threats during their mid-course phase, when the warhead is coasting through the upper atmosphere or the vacuum of space. This makes it a direct counterpart to the American Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. By destroying threats far above the Earth, the HQ-19 prevents any debris or potential contaminants from a warhead from reaching Chinese territory, providing a safer and more effective layer of protection. The technical features of the HQ-19 are impressive and showcase China's growing sophistication in missile technology. The system uses a powerful two-stage solid-fuel interceptor missile. This interceptor is equipped with what is known as a Kinetic Kill Vehicle, or KKV. Instead of exploding near its target like a traditional missile, the KKV is designed to steer itself directly into the path of the incoming warhead and destroy it through sheer force of impact. This hit-to-kill technology requires incredible precision and is a hallmark of the most advanced missile defense systems. The HQ-19 has reportedly demonstrated successful intercepts at altitudes exceeding 200 kilometers, reaching its targets at extreme speeds. The entire HQ-19 system is road mobile, mounted on large 8x8 trucks. This mobility is a critical feature as it allows the launch batteries to be moved and hidden, making them much harder for an enemy to target and destroy before they can be used. To find its targets, the HQ-19 relies on a network of powerful ground-based phased array radars. These radars, like the reported 610A, can detect and track incoming missiles from thousands of kilometers away, providing the necessary early warning and guidance data for the interceptors. China is also rapidly building up its space-based early warning satellite network, which will further enhance the system's ability to see threats as soon as they are launched. 
While the HQ-19 is not yet believed to be widely deployed across China, it has undergone extensive testing and is considered to have reached initial operational capability. Recent reports from late 2024 confirm that the system has met its performance expectations, indicating it is ready for service. China is also actively marketing the HQ-19 for export, positioning it as a top-tier solution for countries in the Middle East and elsewhere that are seeking to build their own robust missile defenses. This move signals China's confidence in the system's capabilities and its ambition to become a major global supplier of advanced military hardware, directly competing with established players like Russia and the United States. The Russian S-500 Promete, or Prometheus, is arguably one of the most ambitious and versatile air and missile defense systems in the world. Its primary role is broader than that of the HQ-19, as it is designed to be a multi-purpose defensive weapon. The S-500 is tasked with intercepting not only medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles, but also has a claimed capability against certain types of intercontinental ballistic missiles, especially in their final terminal phase of flight. Furthermore, it is engineered to counter a wide array of other high-end threats, including hypersonic cruise missiles, low-Earth orbit satellites, stealth aircraft, and critical support planes like airborne warning and control system aircraft. The S-500's impressive capabilities are delivered by its advanced 77N6 family of interceptors. Like the HQ-19, these interceptors utilize kinetic hit-to-kill warheads for ballistic missile defense, ensuring the complete obliteration of the target through direct impact. The system is credited with an astonishing operational range, with some tests reportedly hitting targets nearly 500 kilometers away. Its engagement ceiling is also formidable, with the ability to reach altitudes of up to 200 kilometers. This allows the S-500 to create a vast defensive dome, capable of engaging up to 10 ballistic targets simultaneously. It is the top layer in Russia's integrated air defense network, designed to work alongside other systems like the S-400 and S-350. To support its long-range interceptors, the S-500 relies on a powerful and extensive network of sensors. This includes its own dedicated radar systems, as well as data feeds from Russia's National Early Warning Network. This network is composed of massive ground-based radars, such as the Voronezh and Don2N, which provide continent-spanning surveillance. Russia is also developing its Kupol series of early warning satellites to detect missile launches from space, though this part of the network has faced some delays. The integration of all these sensor assets gives the S-500 crew a comprehensive picture of the battle space, allowing it to detect and track the most challenging targets from immense distances. Despite its advanced design, the S-500's deployment has been slow. The first operational unit was delivered to protect the Moscow region in 2021. But as of early 2024, it remains the only confirmed operational battery. Production has reportedly been hampered by industrial limitations and the impact of Western sanctions. However, Russia continues to test and refine the system, including a successful test against a hypersonic target in February 2024. Russia is also planning an even more specialized variant, the S-550, which will be dedicated exclusively to anti-missile and anti-satellite missions, further solidifying Russia's commitment to controlling the high-altitude frontier. When comparing the HQ-19 and the S-500, it is clear that both systems are at the pinnacle of modern missile defense technology, yet they are designed with slightly different philosophies. The Chinese HQ-19 is a specialized tool, focusing almost exclusively on the mid-course interception of medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Its role is highly analogous to the American Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, acting as a dedicated shield against regional threats. The Russian S-500, on the other hand, is a more versatile, all-in-one platform. It aims to counter a much broader spectrum of targets, from ballistic missiles and satellites to hypersonic weapons and stealth aircraft, making it a strategic air and space defense system. Technologically, both systems employ the highly effective kinetic hit-to-kill interceptor model, which is the gold standard for high-altitude missile defense. In terms of raw performance metrics, they appear closely matched, though some reports suggest slight differences. The HQ-19 has a demonstrated intercept altitude of over 200 kilometers, while the S-500 is typically sighted with a ceiling of up to 200 kilometers. For range against ballistic missiles, the S-500 holds a slight edge with a claimed capability 
of up to 3,500 km compared to the HQ-19's 3,000 km. However, these figures are often based on ideal test conditions and may not fully reflect real-world operational performance. The most significant difference between the two systems today lies in their development and deployment status. The S-500 is technically more mature and has been officially delivered to the Russian military with one unit operational. However, its production is proceeding very slowly. In contrast, the HQ-19 has rapidly progressed through its development and testing phases and as of late 2024, is considered to have met all performance goals. China appears poised to begin wider deployment and is already marketing the system for export, suggesting a more robust and confident production pipeline. This means the HQ-19 could become far more numerous than the S-500 in the coming years. In conclusion, determining which system is better depends heavily on the mission. For a nation needing a jack-of-all-trades high-altitude defense against a wide variety of aerial and space-based threats, the S-500's broad capabilities make it arguably more advanced on paper. However, for the specific and critical task of creating a reliable shield against regional ballistic missiles, the HQ-19 